Hi friends, welcome back to the channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to talk about top 5 features in the Origin OS. Right now, I do have the Origin OS with me in the icon Neo 6 device. As you can see, friend, this is the Origin OS. So this is a Chinese unit of the icon Neo 6 device and right now I do have the Indian unit as well with the Snapdragon 870. So that's the reason you are trying to see with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor. But let's explore the features. So what are the most interesting top 5 features in the Origin OS which I did find out. So I've been using this device for the past close to uh, more than one month of time. So that's why I thought of uh, making a video just letting you guys know what's going on with the Chinese version of the iQOO phones because Indian version the iQOO did release with the Funtouch UI but in the China it released with the Origin OS. So let's get started with the top 5 features in this video. The first most interesting uh, thing about this Origin OS is about the customization. So you do get plenty of customization in the home screen. So for example, so there are three different applications which are available by default. So first is the lens application. So by using this lens application you can actually use all this kind of different modes directly without even opening the camera application. That's what the shortcut it can actually help a lot of other users as well. For example if you want to directly uh, choose the night mode you can just click lens and click night mode that's it. And the application will be opened with the night mode directly. As you can see this is how it actually works which is a lens application. So not only that even there is another application which is called the mode application where you can actually customize plenty of things in the home screen. For example, the icon size. So whatever the icon size you want. So let me show you exactly. So these are the applications which are there right now. And let's uh, let me open the mode. Right now, as you can see, you can see the real time change in the icon size and everything as well. So different different icon styles you can actually select from here as well. And even there is a round corners so you can actually select or square corners you can actually customize and even the live wallpapers or normal wallpapers you can actually customize here with the colors and everything. So which is called the mode, mode cube as you can see this is what the application means. So next application which is called the console application. So in this console application you do get plenty of uh, your options. So first thing is about animation. So if you want to have a very good smooth animation experience toward the UI you will try to select the efficient or maybe most uh, compatible. So next thing about the battery balance and the monster mode which we do know so which ICO phones they do have and next is about the refresh rate you can actually increase and decrease and select the auto refresh rate options as you can see. So everything is neatly organized in this kind of small applications. So next is about the Wi-Fi so it's dual Wi-Fi connection which is present in the Chinese version of the origin OS not in the Indian version but in the Chinese version so which is called the dual, dual Wi-Fi internet connection it's possible in this UI that's also possible next is about the network delay latency also you can clearly see 253 milliseconds as you can see that's how it's really helpful I would definitely say that so apart from that rest of the applications are for example you can actually increase and decrease the folder size to different different aspects as you can see you can decrease and increase the folders everything and there are a couple of interesting options which are present even in the settings option as well. So if you need to scroll down and go to the Wi-Fi option, there you can actually find, which is called a network assistant. As you can see, try to click on the network assistant. There you can actually find all these options for the dual Wi-Fi acceleration and dual network acceleration. So you can actually connect the mobile data plus Wi-Fi at same time. That's also possible in the Origin OS, but which is not possible in the Funtouch UI at this moment. So these are the few options which are. So final friends, the last features you can actually find are kind of slightly different in the ultra game mode. So apart from that, I did not find any kind of huge difference with other settings. But in the ultra game mode, there's slightly different options which are present in this Origin OS. For example, there's a bot mode which is available at this moment and cool light effects also which is possible at this point as you can see clearly. So you can see the option which says the cool light effects will show on the screen when you get a triple kill. As you can see, that's how it actually works. So and game countdown is also possible. So a lot of other options which are present. And let me show you the side by side comparison in case if you are uh, curious to know what are the fun touch UI options which are present. You can definitely compare side by side. As you can see. So few of the options kind of slightly IQ is trying to implement even in the Indian version. For example, frame rate priority is also added. So which is present in this uh, Chinese version of the origin OS as well. And next thing is about the game picturing mode, all these options we do know, which is quite similar and game countdown is possible. 
So few of these options are kind of slightly enabled only in few particular games. But overall, friends, these are the top five features which I will definitely uh, like. I did like in the Origin OS having these options like game, I mean applications, mood cube, lens kit, and console. These are the few things, and even the small uh, desktop kind of bar you will be able to see in the bottom here. As you can see, it's small desktop that's slightly kind of different, I would say, when compared with the normal one. And rest of the animations and everything is different and uh, slightly kind of different type of interface is also present here. If you try to look at the ultra game mode, game tools, here you can see live streaming option has been added here. So this is friends, thank you for watching. These are the few uh, features which I did like in the Origin OS of the IQ phones in the Chinese unit. I wish some of the features could have slightly kind of implemented even in the Indian version but let me know in the comments which one is your favorite feature which you found out in the Origin OS at this moment. So until then signing off friends thank you for watching and uh, meanwhile stay tuned for more videos and bye.